This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, March 12th. Yesterday was the one-year anniversary of the Fukushima disaster. Our hearts go out to all of those who have been affected and evacuated so far. As Tokyo Electric has stated that it will take approximately 30 years to reach and contain the fuel, we will be living with this disaster for a very long time, and so will our children. In Canada, Current radar with jet stream overlay shows the following areas to be at highest risk for potential fallout over the next two days. The entire coast of British Columbia to approximately 200 miles east of Vancouver. Spotty showers through Calgary should also be avoided. The heaviest rain though will be through Winnipeg, Sudbury, Ottawa and Toronto. For Tuesday, the Sarnia area, Windsor, through Niagara Falls, as well as Montreal, will also be at risk. In the U.S., current radar with jet stream overlay shows the following areas to be at highest risk over the next 48 hours. The Pacific Northwest, in through northern Idaho. The Great Lakes, which is currently under tornado watch till 3 a.m. And Connecticut, Vermont, and Maine. Although the entire east coast is expecting light rain, the jet stream remains far north of most of the coast. In Europe, most of Europe is clear for the next few days, with the only significant overlay occurring in Germany, Poland, and the Czech Republic. Eurodep, however, recorded elevated readings from monitors in France and Luxembourg over the weekend. As this does not seem to be attributable to weather conditions, I would consider the possibility of a local reactor event or release. Links to URDAP monitors can be found on FukushimaFacts.com. Nuke Report Diablo Canyon, California reported an inoperable steam generator channel in both reactors over the weekend. The plant continues to run at full power. PG&E plans to submit a full event report on this issue as it could potentially affect emergency operations. A second event at the Harris Nuke Plant in North Carolina affected the environmental ventilation for its employees in the Technical Support Center. The system will be repaired expeditiously and I would certainly hope so for the safety of its own workers. Resources used for today's forecast include California Regional Weather, Storm Surf, NEXRAD, the U.S. Navy and Military Radar, Meteo France, and the Weather Office at Environment Canada. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.